Hi guys, welcome back. It's time to talk about a new update for the 3T and the 3. So in one of the previous video, I guess on 20th April, I did show you the possible features that are going to come and not all changes has happened as of now, but it will come soon in very future. But a couple of things has been changed and added like the network and communication, the battery fixes and some other issues. So we will see here and try to compare some of the previous versions because this uh, version, uh, this change here for the open beta 6 for the 3T and the open beta 15 for the 3 they bring some of the new changes to the UI in terms of the calling application, the messaging here, contacts and the setting here. Uh, in, uh, along with that, there are some fixes to the battery. So let's go and check out the changes. So as you can see guys, this is the official change log for both the 3 and the 3D. So you can see changes are always same. So as of now, I have done only installation on the 3 and I'm just going to verify it soon, couple of the changes. Then at the end part of the video, I'll show you some benchmark differences, comparison, you know, compared to the previous build, whether we have got any improvement or not. So let's go inside and see what are the new features and changes. And also I will show you some of the pixel comparison. So stay tuned for that. And by the way, guys, I got my Galaxy S8 device here. And I'm just going to show you guys so many comparison tests between all the devices like speed test, some crazy videos, might be some new videos that you might haven't seen in my channel. So stay tuned. So let's get started and check out the new latest open beta updates. So guys, here are the OnePlus 3 and the 3D, both running the latest updated open beta builds here, right here you can see. And uh, this is what you can see OnePlus 3 running the open beta 15 and the OnePlus 3D open beta 6. So I'm just telling you again, so right side I have OnePlus 3 and left side I have OnePlus 3D. But it's still strange, I'm not able to see the latest security patch level, it's still, uh, it is on the March one. Not sure why OnePlus is not updating the latest security patch level. Anyway guys, uh, first I will show you uh, what are the exactly change logs are there. So first we will see, uh, you know, what are the new features. So the first feature is that the new dialer and the incoming call interface. So as you can see here guys, I am just showing you first the old uh, screen dialer, phone dialer, sorry. So when it was in the open beta uh, 14 and open beta 5. So when you got a call, you will see here something you need to swipe right or left to, uh, you know, answer or reject uh, the calls respectively. So this is something slightly different here and once you you know reject the call or once you pick the call you, you're gonna see this uh, recording window there you can pause it there and you can close that so this is a very really nice feature in the open beta you can record the call now as i as you can see this is the new window uh, you can see the phone dialer uh, ui when you receive any call so it's, it's like exactly the same like the pixel so first let me show you the pixel dialer so you can see once you receive any call in the pixel phone so it is exactly similar way a slightly animation is different so might be oneplus is trying to make something in a that way so you can see the new open beta 15 and open beta 6 for the 3 and 3D uh, looking exactly same like you have the Google Pixel phone dialer. Anyway guys this is about the new dialer and incoming call interface so you can easily swipe up and answer the call. Now you can see the UI optimization for messages settings and the contacts. So let's go here and jump in and see that. So first I will go to this messages you can see this is the message here. So uh, if you just compare you can see check out the old how the message looks like so you can see there was no collapsible window so now we have this uh, collapsible window here uh, but it was not there earlier so take a look here this is the latest the new uh, the window here once you slide it down you can see the settings are a little bit uh, collapsing now you make, uh, move up they are collapsed once you get down they are expanded so i'm not sure why uh, maybe they are doing so maybe they are going to adding some additional option here uh, let's see to come anyway uh, let's wait and see so next is that new action bar for messages and settings so so this is same as you know collapsible and expandable action bar so more to come in future so as of now they have just added this uh, collapsible window only this is a, actually the whole set of things are called navig navigation this action bar sorry so the top of the any screen of any app is called this action bar so this search menu this option three dot this message name they all come inside this action bar so as of now they have just implemented this expandable and the collapsible things here nothing more than that now moving down here you can see and optimize hyper also guys let me show you some contact dialer here so if you just go inside this phone dialer you can see if you just check uh, take a look on this old phone dialer with open data of 14 and the 5 you can see this uh, favorite recent and the contacts are a little bit expanded you know one in uh, favorites on the left side and this contacts on the right side and center we have this uh, a recent one but as you can see on this current one uh, everything is just a little bit collapsed so might be the reason is that in future they are going to add some more options so this is the reason they are going to need some further space so they can add only one two three i guess not more than that so three through six so possibly six features in the upcoming so that is about this phone dialer and let me show you the setting here so you can see 
I'm just going to show you guys something here you can see on the old settings you might have noticed all the things like you know uh, wireless and network customization and the device like the categories of the settings they are on the bold font and they are a little bit bigger to the PPI uh, P you can say uh, you know slightly more compared to what you can see on this current one here you can see everything is a little bit small compared to what you see on this uh, previous one so it looks very small I, I have to adjust the display I guess then I can get that so guys this is about the changes all the stuff let's see anything is left or not so now we have some major change for uh, optimize high power usage notifications so optimize the system which notify you so these things I need to check it out actually and uh, maybe they have improved something for the battery performance and the Bluetooth optimization night mode optimization bug fixes so uh, on the open beta 14 I was trying to collect connect my oneplus cd to my galaxy and say it, it wasn't connecting but I will give a try here if anything is there I will tweet on my twitter account so make sure to check out there in case you wanted to know if your bluetooth is working or not so guys there it is these are the uh, changes and stuffs for one plus 3 and 3d so pretty good here so in case uh, you wanted to install that or not so uh, I will still not recommend because you know features are nice but these kinds of things are keep on breaking you know sometimes battery issues and all the stuff so I won't recommend really to you you know use this thing here so guys now less time to check out the benchmarking score do we have an improvement or not so this is the N22 sorry this is the geek benchmark result for the OnePlus 3 and the 3D so still there is a difference but uh, actually I ran it more than one or two times so just to see how much highest I can get so this is what I got the highest score so maybe guys your device can give different result so you have to check that out now for N22 score if I go down so one 151564 143726 so this is about the current score now guys let's check out some other benchmarking scores and compare with the official 4.23 and some of the old previous open beta builds and see how the build looks like first we will take a look at the OnePlus 3 scores comparing the open beta 15 to the official 4.23 so here are the entry results you can see the official build is still working fast I already have shown you many times in the previous build so now next is the key benchmark for the same OnePlus 3 so you can see it's still the score or the one plus running official build is more because you know these builds are meant to run on public so they should be faster compared to the you know in the open beta build things are broken that's why i always recommend not to go with the beta build as of now comparing the same for the 3t open beta 6 versus official 4 run 3 the score is again uh, close to that uh, the first time when i ran open beta 6 i got 136k something but again i third score so again uh, scores are less to the official 4 run 3 now I check out the score of the uh, Geek Benchmark for the same OnePlus 3T. Now moving ahead next, uh, we got the all of the score for the OnePlus 3 from the Open Beta 7 to Open Beta 15. So you can see the company is not focusing here again on improving the performance. They are just implementing features so they can break, they can all, you can get all the stuff. So that's why you can uh, see the scores. But anyway, still beta builds are featureful. So uh, depends on you guys. So I still have some blank space left. I need to you know, make a space because beta builds are getting improved a lot. Now again, this is the key benchmark scores and one shot comparing open beta 7 to open beta 15. So I guess open beta 15 score is uh, quite close to uh, open beta 11, 12. So it's got consistent performance, you can see. Uh, just 16k to no, 1.6k to the 1.7k just near to that now guys move ahead to oneplus 3t so this is score for the open beta 1 till open beta 6 so still you can see the consistent performance so uh, I, if i ran the score again maybe after one or two day usage definitely i will go get a different score so this is for again the key benchmark for the oneplus 3t so that's it guys for this update video and stay tuned so many videos are coming comparing your 3 and 3t and other devices with my galaxy s8 I got so many plans to do, I just need time to, you know, film and edit and upload. So it might take a bit of time, maybe a one week, two week. I will show you guys a lot of cool stuff. So thank you so much for watching again. This is Arab. I'll catch you next video. Have a great day.